Hi guys, this is Shalini and I am back to you with another video. Today my topic is zeroing and leveling for various invasive pressure monitoring. So if you like the video and the content, kindly do like, share and subscribe. Also press the bell icon so that you are notified whenever I upload a video next. Also let me know your valuable comments in the comment box. So let's begin. Introduction there are several devices used for invasive monitoring in the intensive care units. Before initiating patient monitoring, the pressure transducer must be leveled, that is to a correct position to the phlebostatic axis and it has to be zeroed. What is a transducer to begin with? It is something or a device that converts a pressure signal into electrical signal. So for example, there is some amount of pressure that is detected in the arterial line which comes on to the transducer and this pressure signal is converted into electrical signal which is read as waveforms on the monitor. So that is the work of a transducer. Usually for monitoring of pressures, patients are positioned in supine position but in case of some critically ill patient, probably they are on ventilator and the head end will be elevated 30 to 45 degree. But in every case, you just have to make sure that the transducer is properly leveled to the phlebostatic axis, which we will see in the slides to come. What is leveling? Leveling is done to align the transducer to the phlebostatic axis. So, for example, in case of arterial pressure monitoring, how are you going to level the transducer? So, leveling is basically you will want to level the transducer or position the transducer to the phlebostatic axis. So, in case of arterial pressure monitoring, you have to level it to the fourth intercostal space or the fourth intercostal line of the patient. So, this axis is called as a phlebostatic axis. In case of central venous pressure, again, the transducer has to be leveled to the fourth intercostal space. So, this level or this axis is called as a phlebostatic axis. In case of intracranial pressure monitoring, the transducer has to be leveled to the tragus of the patient. That is this particular point. So, this becomes the phlebostatic axis. So, the transducer is at the level of the tragus. In case of intra-abdominal pressure monitoring, the phlebostatic axis is the level of the symphysis pubis. So, that becomes a reference point where you will level the transducer. This is a comparative image of how you flush the line, how you zero the system and also measure the pressures. After you have positioned the patient and leveled the transducer according to the phlebostatic axis, you will have to check the patency of the line. So, let us assume that this end is connected to the patient. These are the three way stopcocks. This is the transducer which converts the pressure that is detected into electrical energy. This is the data cord which is connected to the monitor. This is the flush line which is connected to the pressurizer line back. And this is the knob which will help you to flush the line. So, when you want to check the patency and flush the line, you close it towards the atmosphere, open it towards the patient and also open it towards the uh, flush line. And you press this knob to flush the line. Second picture is about zeroing. So, when you want to zero or when you want to negate the effect of atmospheric pressure, what you do is you close it towards the patient, open the line towards the atmosphere and it is also open towards the transducer line. So, this will help you to zero the system. Next is measuring the pressures. While you want to measure the arterial pressure or any other invasive pressures when you want to measure, you close it towards the atmosphere and you open it towards the patient and also towards the transducer line. That is how you measure the pressure. So, technically zeroing is done to negate the effect of atmospheric pressure onto the monitoring system. So, as I have told you, for zeroing you close it towards the patient, open it towards the atmosphere and also open it towards the transducer line. After which you will even have to select it on the monitor. So, press zero and you will see zero in the monitor. After you see zero in the monitor, you will have to close the three way and open it towards the patient, open it towards the transducer line and close it towards the atmosphere so that you get an accurate pressure. So, thank you. I hope that today's video was helpful for you. If there is any doubts, clarifications or comments, please let me know in the comment box. Otherwise, thank you and have a nice day.